Welcome to Tell You Later, the show where you learn so little about so much and vice versa. Sincere thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. By the way, there's always room for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe to their channel. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. <laughs> Welcome to the Tell You Later show. <laughs> yes, thank you. All our patrons want to say special thanks to our patrons who support the show. Thank you for everybody who helped with the campaign to uh, get the hours in on YouTube. That was awesome. Yeah, so, thank you, thank you. Got thank the you. ball rolling there. Really appreciate it. And uh, what else? Who else can we thank? Uh, thank God we're here, right? Yes, yeah. All that's right. right. We're happy about that. So you know what? There's um, and what? Who's here today? It's Chris Anthony Lansdowne. I almost oh. didn't recognize you. No, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah, with those loop earrings and your hair up. Totally, completely I, different I kinda, look for you It's a kind of a glammy look I went for You are today. glammy. Thank you. Hey, maybe I should have my, my, my grandkids call me glammy. <gasps> glammy. Glammy. That's very sweet. That's pretty. I think yours will. Do you want to borrow my earrings? No, that's okay. fine. I'll rip them right out of my ears. <laughs> no, that's not a good it's idea. You're your grandma now. I am. I'm a glammy. Oh. I'm a glammy, and we're expecting. We have a glammy. I have a, I have a gr glam son, and now we're gonna have a glam daughter. <gasps> How exciting! Congratulations! Yeah. So now I have to make a glam pink sweater. Oh, oh wait. Do you, what you've got? <laughs> I'm gonna pink yarn? knit it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I saw it earlier. Well, I guess it's not. But I it, think we put it away. I, I, a pink sweater on a baby is just delicious. It just <laughs> looks so cute. Oh. I wanna, I wanna Looks see like that a, a done. little flower. I tell you what, we're talking about it now, so she's gonna. Is it knitting? Knitting. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to knit a pink baby oh. sweater. Okay, so here's the thing. Mateo's I crochet. We will I'm have her. Knit hers. Oh. oh, she has a name, too. Oh, what's her name going to be? Melina. Melina. That is beautiful. Do, 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 do. So this here. This is the before picture. Yes. <laughs> here, smile. Jeez. Okay, this is the before picture. So, so get this. Okay, so Katie's challenge is to turn this little pink ball into a little pink sweater for yep. Melina. For Melina. Okay, yes. so you guys, fast forward it at some point. <laughs> Zero to three months we're this going This will for. be a, a sweater. Okay, okay, so just keep right. that in your hat. Just save okay? that. Okay, so, so, hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's so exciting. So, perhaps you've never heard this, but we used to do the word of the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Not the word of the year. It's not the word of the month. It's not the word of the week. It's the word of the day. Yay! Okay, so we're going to so do So, let's word of the see day. what you got cuz we haven't done one for a while. Do you have to be a good speller to play this game? No, it's just because um, I don't spell real well. <laughs> you don't have. I know. I know. And we were reading some promos for the show. Oh, yeah. And this word came up: sustentation. Sustentation. Four syllables. Four syllables. Sustentation. Yes, because I thanked our patrons for their sustentation. Oh, it sounds like a good pie. No. I just baked a sustentation pie. <laughs> a southern sustentation. <laughs> Welcome. Well, we pride ourselves on southern sustentation. <laughs> right? Yes, ma'am. So, do you know what that means? It means 
that the pie is going to taste good. That's it's right. It's the pie. It's the support <laughs> or maintenance of someone or something, especially through the provision of money. And that's you because yeah. you guys have been so generous and so really yes. sweet. We and thank like, you. Thank yes. you for your sustentation. That's right. And, and they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your sustentation. We yeah. Yeah. Yes. The crew of one <laughs> and everyone else who walks through that door because as I was saying earlier, Every moment of my life is an episode. That's right. <laughs> She's going to have an episode any because minute Because remember, She's... you are the star of your own show, oh, right? Yes, ma'am. You are, for sure. Speaking of... Yes. Uh, well, Sustentation? That word. Sustentation. I'd love, wouldn't you like to hear Daffy Duck say that word? Suffering sustentation. See... She can't say it either. She Suffering just winging sustentation. it. <laughs> yes, but I did look it up, and I did use it in a sentence, so I so, think I get credit for that. Yes. She's a smart cookie, but I, I'm going to challenge her today because... What? Katie, Chris Anthony lands down, you are going to challenge that's, moi? That's right. How so? I, I feel a, a game show challenge coming on. And oh, here's the you thing. know I'm very competitive. <laughs> Obviously, it's not in music. Okay. So, yes. the thing that we're going to challenge Katie today is because she's Can I a, show you? Would you oh. stop and listen to my idea? Okay, you're going to challenge me. Yes. Okay, Miss Bossy. See, because I can't remember my thought. All right, now, the ga the, challenge to today is <laughs> <laughs> the challenge today is good. The challenge today is because she's an excellent coach when it comes to uh, vo vocal, voiceover, uh, animation. She character is character coaching. Character coaching. coaching. She's excellent. And the thing about Katie is, she knows how to get you from A to B to be that character. And she's got lots of ideas. But I like to say A to C because C stands for character. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see how witty she is. She's just. So <laughs> So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a hat. She's just, just Chris hat. likes to play the hat game. Well, I do. I, love I like hats. to hide things under hats. Well, and, and keep in mind now, this is a challenge for me because, because most of my stuff is done without makeup the, or accoutrement uh -huh. or a chachi piece, as we like to say. She's got all these big um, words, you know. Don't let her fool I, you. That yeah, one's made up. That's Katie. from an old commercial, but we, I, we don't wear hats. We just do characters in the booth. She's trying to get out of it, is what she's Okay, really what have you do. got? All right, I'm going to give her a hat, if you will. Should I close my eyes? Um, I'll, I'll give her a couple little props. Oh. And we're not going to make this a long thing. I just want her to come up with a, a character and to go And will you join me? With whatever I come up with? That wasn't the idea, okay, but, but all I right, like I will. It. I will. my idea. Okay. okay. So, if you will just go with me all right, on this. All right, what have you got there? I want you to close your eyes. Okay. And don't peek. <laughs> she came in here with three big bags of stuff. Okay. And don't look at anything. Okay. Uh, I want you I'm to just going to look at the little floaty things. Okay. What you, <laughs> just behind look, my don't look, at, don't look. Just put these Ooh, on your face. What? Okay. Just put, I can't, you put them on, okay? I won't know what they look That's like. That's good. You're not supposed to know what they look like, okay? I and then we're going to just, just, just go, don't look, don't okay. look. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. Okay. And when I tell you to open it, I yes. want you to Are improvise. You Be, don't worry about a mirror. Uh -huh. I, I want you to improvise because basically part of animation is improvising. Yes, and it's, it's, it's a good. I would like to know what I look like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But when you open your eye. Will you give okay, me a word to would you help please me? Give us a little bit. And then when she said, I only, it's only a few minutes, and I want her to do whatever comes to her. I feel like the person sleeping at the slumber party who gets drawn <laughs> on. Because I do not know what you are doing. Uh, trust That's me. probably why I'm such a light sleeper. All right, you got okay. two seconds. You yes. look in the mirror, okay. and I want you to do a character, not a long one, just okay. to okay. fit whatever you have in your hand okay. and on this your is, face. I think this is a class and Chris teaches. Yes. Whatever. Okay. But I know Ready? she can do this because she's good. Good, good, good. All right. Ready, set, go. Look in the mirror and hold what's in your hand. Oh, yes. Hello, <laughs> darling. Oh, well, I see you found my Oscar. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, I got this Oscar for best performance in a bathroom mirror. <laughs> <laughs> And um, <clears throat> isn't that short? Isn't that short and sweet enough for you? <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Her act 
acting is just off the charts. Well, that's, why, that's how I won this, you know. <laughs> oh, she These did things. win it. Itch! Ah, they're poking me in the neck. That was very, did you see how she great improvised? She, she, as oh. Look, when you put this on, you just magically it does something turn to into you. something else, oh. don't you? Yeah, I'm I feel like, I remember, um, you know, just, just to go off topic, <laughs> Which is not, no, not as as not normal, but I remember my mother watching that movie about Isadora Duncan. Do you remember they made a movie about her? It was an, or I I believe they did, and she infamously. This is why I'm kind of scared of scarves. Oh, ugh. because Isadora Duncan. This is true. You can look it up. What happened to her with a scarf? She was wearing a long scarf oh, in no. a little convertible, <gasps> and the scarf got caught in the wheel. Oh wait. I've heard this story, but oh, I was thought that it was, Marilyn, that was, was that else? Jane Mansfield? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some, just be very, very careful if when, you're wearing a long scarf in a sports on a car. motorcycle or in a sports car. If you have this on, don't it be, be on, on deadly, a motorcycle. Deadly. So, be, right. I, it, I think it. Was it, will somebody look it up? We'll have to look it up. Because oh, put no, your no, comments no. Wait, it, that, That's below. for another day. All now, right, we okay. take the glasses oh, from her. Those are great glasses, by the aren't way. Okay, they're very movie really star-like. I, I just found these. I thought, oh, it's so very movie star. Very special. All right, so now. They look good. I bet you wear them for real. Let me see. How do I look? Really good. Hello there. Yes. Oh, thank you for the... <laughs> this is how movie stars laugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, is, right. that, is that like so they don't spit on people? That could be one of the reasons. <gasps> All right, now Just Katie has passed it. the challenge, I but passed the glamour challenge. Would you guys like to see one more? I'm gonna look up Isadora. Duncan one more. While you I do think that. I think she's gonna look up something because she's gonna try to get out of it. Okay, now but Isadora Duncan. Hold she's on. looking up. She lived from let's see, 187. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. She blah, 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 lived blah, until blah. 1927. Okay. What and were Isadora Duncan's last words? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, edit that out. That's so okay. That's so right. dark. I could be wrong. All right, all now I got one more challenge, and then we can be done with my okay, with right. my character all right, challenge. Okay. All right. Please. Are you ready? Yes. I'm still. Put the Computer Let part death. away. Wait, wait, I got, it got to the death part. I'm sorry. Duncan was a I passenger in this. an Amel car CGSS automobile owned by Benoit Falchetto. Oh, him. A French-Italian mechanic. She wore a long, flowing, hand-painted silk uh -oh. scarf created by the Russian-born artist. Where you learn so much about so little. Here we go. Artist Roman Chatoff, a gift from her friend Mary Desty. Desty, who saw Duncan off, had asked her to wear a cape in the open air <gasps> vehicle because a cape, of the cold not weather. A scarf. But she would agree to wear only the scarf. As they departed, <gasps> she reportedly said to Desty and some companions, Adieu, mes amis, je vais à la gloire. <gasps> Which oh means my. farewell, my friends, go to glory. But according to the American novelist, Glenway Westcott, Dusty later told him that Duncan's actual parting words were Je vais à l'amour, which means I'm off to love. <sighs> Dusty considered this embarrassing as it suggested that she and this guy were going to a hotel. Anyway, her silk scarf, oh, how nice. listen to this, her silk scarf draped around her neck, became entangled around the open spoked wheels and rear axle, <gasps> pulled her from the open to her car, breaking she her neck. Oh, this is terrible. Why are we reading such a morbid, well, horrible I'm just saying, story? It's, it's a word to the wise. All right, so what have we learned here? Be careful with your scarves. Okay, I'm just saying, so that's a true thing. Now, right. now Jane Mansfield, I don't know what happened we to don't, her. Something please else. Please don't look her up. But we, we, we just let her rest in peace. This will okay. be considered the death Our episode. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just a wealth of knowledge. But at she? least we learned some French. <laughs> I think that's a positive. Okay, so we learned some French. I'm okay. going to have a little sip of my water. Ah, me Can too. You know? Cheers. Cheers. I love your mug. Thank you. I just got and it. And I love this mug too. <laughs> <laughs> we need our oh, scarves to laugh. <laughs> yes. In case you guys are just kind of zeroing on this, this is the new... 
tell you later mugs the tell you later mugs and these are awesome i mean these are cute you gotta have one of these like when you go to have your cup of coffee in the morning now she got hers from me but yes. you can order yours you can order yours merch later merch merch later dot com and, yes Merchalater.com, and you could get one of these in the ants like, go marching one, one by one. Hurrah, hurrah! hurrah. The ants go marching one, one by. Okay, okay no, that's public domain. Okay. So I wanted to tell you that just picture yourself in your kitchen in the morning, and you just get your little cup of coffee or your milk, and you put it in here, and you. The day is just not complete. And then you your kids that. say, "Mom, what's for dinner?" And you go, "Tell you later." Read, read them and weep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Back to where we were. She's trying to distract me. Not at all. Uh, we'll see. She's she's going to distract me so that I can't. Yo, her Joe. Her. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can do all you want, but okay. you're going to have your next character. What's next? Okay. Close, close your eyes. eyes. Right. Contestant number two. Contestant. Katie Lee. Oh, we should do the dating game. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Wait, Charlie. So, all right. This is a character I think she's going to just be amazing at. All right. But. We're not going to um, we're not going to let her see it. So you just have to let me do what you I gotta do. Remember, Kenny okay? Mars he used to say, "But." All right, now this, this is your big butt. Okay. Can you just have to go with what I'm doing here? <laughs> God. And, and no, I did not put a pair of pants on your head, but you gotta. It let, feels like it. Okay, just, oh, and I get glasses yeah, again. Okay, don't look at that. You don't All be right, peeking okay. in the mirror. Right. This is the character hour, the character. and we're going to character it up. Okay. All right. Oh so. my. You've got like different costumes in Ziploc bags. Is that what you got going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah. Because I keep like them to all play together. This. All right. Because you're very organized. I still have my eyes closed, but with my eyes closed, I would like you to know that Chris is an amazing closet organizer and actually helps people get organized. I love to organize. I have my own little business. Chrissy's called Chrissy's Closets, right? Thank you for Chrissy's mentioning that. Closet. Shout out to Chrissy's Closets. If you live within a how many mile radius? Or if you're willing to fly next, her next somewhere. Next door. I'll do it if you live next door. If you're okay. willing to fly her somewhere, she'll go anywhere and right. clean out your junk. Are okay. you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we just, okay. we're ready for our next character on, okay. this is called Character Characters with Reveal. Character at, and oh, this one look in the mirror. You get two right seconds now. to okay. come up with your character. Look in your mirror and go. Oh, well, you know, I look just like Marty Frickett, don't I? <laughs> I remember her. Oh, she was a sexy old lady, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, she used to bake donuts. How do you laugh, Grandma? <laughs> and the, well, you know, I also don't like to spit. If I laugh too hard, my teeth go flying. <laughs> No, Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. Very, very cute. Can I keep it? Oh, honey. No, don't you worry. That's the cutest ah, thing. Now, this all goes back to the wardrobe closet. So, here we go. We're back with Katie Lee as she finishes her performance Woo. as Grandma Granny. <laughs> there you so, go. You, you know what I say? You, you know, I came up with the phrase voice analities. Did you oh, know that? No, that's really clever. Because people voice think analogies. voice actors are just about creating voices, but they're mm. voices m with personality. Absolutely. So actually, I think you have to have the personality first, the character first, and then you can find the voice. Because, for instance, and not not that you asked. Uh, <laughs> You're right, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, but, but I, I'm if, interested. Let's just They're say, if you don't have any teeth, like you could be an old person who talks like this, but all of a sudden when you don't have teeth. See, it, that creates that sound. It just that sounds good? a little bit yes. different, yes. doesn't it? It makes it harder to talk. Yes, mm -hmm. but but in reality, I mean, when you do voiceovers, you don't really need costumes, but it just helps you to kind of get in the character a little bit, and and she's right. It's not just uh, it's not just the voice; it's the personality. It's the personality. It. Yeah, because you, when you do your grandma's uh, personality, you, uh, do you, do you sit like this as a grandma? But no, you no. might do that little thing. Where you just yeah, because you're thing. hiding Kleenex yeah. inside <laughs> your shirt, that's right? right? That's right, and you kind of scrunch up a little bit, and, and you I, get old, do right? Do people still do that? Do I, I do when I'm doing voices. And did you the, have your grandma nearby? No, my grandma was not nearby. No. But I remember my grandma. She was Italian grandma. And she'd say, Christina, Christina, what do you want to eat tonight? <laughs> Did she? And you said, 
Tell you later. <laughs> Did she keep Kleenex up her sleeve? Uh, no, my grandma wore these like these big white aprons because she was always making pasta and spaghetti. That was oh, like wow. that thing that was so cute. It's like she had that her hair pulled back, you know, like, no mess, so no mess, so no mess. Hair pulled back, and I had one grandma called Christine. Oh, and uh, you she were named after her? Not really, no. But she made <laughs> okay. She was <laughs> Italian. <laughs> okay. No, and she made pizza. She made spaghetti. That's the truth, Bill. Yeah. No, I was not named after her, but that's okay. what they say. And um, my other grandma was Italian, too. So, so they have, like, big bags of flour? Oh, well, one grandma had a cellar that you'd go down into, and they had big wine barrels. Is this in barrels. Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Because we don't really have many cellars here. That's in, right. Just on the street corner. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so they had this down in pennsylvania is like on the east coast obviously and they had like you go into her cellar and is there was, a beach i don't know in pennsylvania i don't think so, so how can it be on the do coast? you guys know if there's a beach because how I don't can remember. it be on the coast if there's a well the east no side coast that way east side. so anyways they had these big giant wine barrels it's like really huge. they in were like her cellar wooden. In her cellar. Big, big wine barrels? And you could smell like the, the wood, you know, the old, the old smell of the wood and the wine. And as a little kid, I'd sneak downstairs and I'd go look into there, that room with this wait, like... Wait, wait, wait. Let me let you be your... Oh, where's the little scarfy thing? Give me the little scarfy thing. Oh, you want to wear it again? No, I want, you, so good I want you to act it out here. Oh, no, I'm going to have to do it too. You can be your grandma. Okay. It's okay. so I would say... <laughs> I can't get my story straight now. You so went I, in the cellar. I went in the you cellar. You smelled wine. I could smell the big wine the barrels. Oak. The Yeah, the wood. And it was like this in the cement walls. Kind of damp. It was kind of damp. Yeah, kind of damp. And, and then you'd go in there because you're not really supposed to be in there. You would just kind of go downstairs. and You go. weren't supposed to, but you, you sneaked in there? Oh, kind of like the Christmas story you shared about sneaking into the closet oh, oh, and, yeah. and, and opening up your Christmas gift. Yeah. Okay, so sneaking <laughs> sneaking is not a, a abnormal thing for you. Okay, go so, ahead. That's fine. So my Just point wanted, yes, was... Sneaking uh, into the basement. And, and don't do this at home. Kids. Smelling wine. Is that what we're supposed to say? No. Don't do this. No. Okay, so I did sneak in there. By yourself? By myself. And you would smell this big old wine barrels. And then this one day I thought to myself, there was knobs on oh, it. Oh, no. Like the big wooden knobs. You would like to have to turn the crank because this huge old big old barrel. And there was a knob. Don't touch that knob. I wonder what this knob does. <laughs> so I thought, I could just see what it looks like if some wine came out of it. And so I remember... Oh, this is How a bad story. This is a bad Every story. time she tells a story, it turns into, oh, this is a bad story. <laughs> to enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a Let's lot. Let's talk about drowning near-death experiences. Uh, tell that's... you later. You see what she just I did? Just, I just flipped that in there. <laughs> Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us at patreon.com front slash tell you later. Languid fiddle. It's huge, Whoa. that's why I choose it, <laughs> so huge, I can never lose it, modulate good old outer space, good old outer space, that's the place for me, ain't found no better yet, good old outer space, good old outer space, suits me to a T, and all the alphabet, no matter where I roam, not cuckoo on land or air or foam Poetry for water Nowhere else can take the place Of good old outer space Reiteration Good old outer space Let's One more time baby. Good old outer space